One more, one more. Take as many as you like. Stephen Crass used to work in construction. That's him in the Transformers costume. After his business went under, he built a costume out of plastic panels and joined the cast of characters who walked the New York streets begging for tips. Come on in. On a good day, he's made as much as $280. On his worst, a mere 17 bucks. It's easy to say, oh yeah, these guys make 300 a day. Yeah, on that one day. And then the next time you saw them, they were begging for lunch money, which is what I'm doing now. I'm currently trying to earn money to pay back the money I borrowed for lunch. As the numerous Elmos and Cookie Monsters walk the streets fighting for the same tips, things can and do get ugly. Recently, a man dressed as Cookie Monster allegedly pushed a two-year-old after his parents didn't tip. A man dressed as Super Mario was charged with groping a woman back in December. While the man in this video, dressed as Elmo, was busted last summer for shouting anti-Semitic slurs. Don't use Michael Milken's international Jew brand meat frog. Don't use Michael Milken's international Jewish toy. Some of the costume characters are a little too aggressive. It's just how it is. These guys can't see anything, especially when it's in the shade, and especially when there's a big crowd on top of them. The visibility out of here is like this. I mean, I literally cannot see anything. And that's what the accusations all are. That, oh, Elmo groped me, Spider-Man punched me, so-and-so pushed down my kid. I'm sorry, I just don't believe that. And those New Yorkers who stopped to pose agree. The bad behavior may just be isolated incidents and welcome the huggable attractions. It brings more um, kids to come to Times Square because they already know that these characters are here. As long as their parents remember to tip. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.